John Yang's work, um, I first saw in a center, an art center in Philadelphia called the Painted Art Art Center. Um, it was an installation that was about 100 feet long, about 40 feet wide, and about 40 feet high. And you entered the installation and you were completely in the midst of this installation. And I was um, completely um, uh, at awe of the scale and the complexity of the installation. I made a connection with the director of the Painted Pride. And as soon as I saw the work and I got a chance to see John, I knew that I had to get this work in front of a larger audience. And New York was the place that I thought would be best to do that. I had already booked space in this show, and so I thought this would be the right venue to present this work. And so far, that's proven to be the case. Quite a number of museum curators have come to talk to me about this work. And I don't think any of that would have happened had it not been for this venue, this opportunity to present the work in this venue. And there are opportunities that I'm looking for in New York at both museums like PS1 and other kinds of venues like the Craft Museum and also other museums that have come forward like the New York Museum and others who I think would be relating to this kind of work beyond the scope of craft. And I think this work is beyond the scope of craft. It bridges a lot of different lines. Um, for example, one of the places I think this would work it would be on Basel, Miami. And I think that it's at that level. So this is the beginning of a process for me to take John's work to a whole other audience that otherwise has not had a chance to see it.